Hey folks, it's Brian Jensen here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use data from one of my favorite competitive insight and analysis tools, SEMrush. One feature of the tool that I use frequently is chart tools, which allows me to create different reports to help me evaluate both paid and organic visibility in Google search. I'll be using this data along with motion charts in Google Sheets to create a dynamic chart that tells a visually compelling story. So we'll first start with the domains we want to analyze. For this example, I'm comparing four tools that offer backlink analysis reporting, including Moz's OpenSight Explorer, uh, of course SEMrush, Majestic SEO, and Ahrefs. The very first data set that we'll export is organic traffic, and we'll go ahead and set the time range for two years and plot chart. Uh, as soon as this is ran, we can export this to Excel. And it's important to note that Charts allows users to choose between a variety of paid and organic filters. Uh, for organic, our options are total ranking keywords, uh, estimated organic search traffic, traffic price, uh, new keywords, lost keywords, improved keywords, and declining keywords. And we've also got some uh, PPC or advertising um, options as well to evaluate performance in Google paid search. So once we've exported organic traffic, we want to next uh, go ahead and look at total keywords or total ranking keywords. Um, in addition to analyzing organic search performance over the past two years for these domains, um, I'm also interested to see if there's any type of correlation between number of ranking keywords and Google organic search traffic. So once we have all the data sets exported, I like to clean up the data by removing any columns I won't be using for motion charts, which includes type, database, and summary. So once we have all of the data um, copied into a new Google spreadsheet, um, it should look something similar to columns G through AB. Following the guidelines for motion charts, the very first column that we'll define will contain the website name or entity that we'll want to track, followed by a column that includes our date values. The rightmost columns will contain our SEMrush data that includes Google organic search traffic and ranking keywords over time. So because the entities, dates, and data points are all stacked vertically, um, using the transpose feature in paste will allow you to quickly move the data into the format required for motion charts. So now that we have the data um, compiled into the proper format, creating a motion chart really is as simple as just selecting the data, selecting insert, chart, and because we put the data together in a way that's required for motion charts, Google recognizes this and is recommending that we create a motion chart. So once the chart has loaded, uh, we'll keep organic traffic as our y-axis, and we'll want to change our x-axis to time as we're evaluating organic search traffic and total ranking keywords over time. To help us define our entities or domains, we'll go ahead and make these unique colors and additionally add data labels by selecting each domain. I like to remove trails because I think it makes the chart look a little messy, but feel free to experiment and create a chart that works best for you or your client. So for size, we're going to select ranking keywords, which will cause each domain to increase or decrease in size as they gain or lose visibility for keywords in Google search. Uh, from here, uh, we can go ahead and press play and enjoy the show. And we can see that here, Moz is the clear winner, um, not surprising, due to their uh, robust blog, which uh, pretty consistently is updated with um, new, new great content that serves the online marketing community. So if you prefer a simple line chart or even a column chart, switching between the different formats is, is really easy. And 
that's it. Um, this is just one example of ways you can use the data from chart tools to analyze organic visibility. Other ways I like to use the data are to analyze Google algorithmic updates, uh, winners versus losers, any major uh, marketing uh, campaigns or link acquisition efforts, um, organic traffic and advertising paid traffic price. Um, sometimes it's interesting just to compare the two. Any mergers or acquisitions and how this may have impacted organic visibility. And, of course, growth or loss of organic search visibility over time. Uh, hopefully this quick tutorial has been valuable. Please feel free to drop any questions or ways that you use chart tools data in the comments below. Thanks.